Trading how to auto height a golf ball tray. This is going to be for the UV printer or even the solvent based printer as well. So you see here, I have the printer powered on already. What we're first going to do is actually open up the front cover because you do not want whatever you're trying to auto height hit that front cover by accident. The tray is inside, so we're going to eject it by pushing the blue button at the front panel. Not only that, we need to lower the bed so that we can fit the tray inside on top of the bed. So I'm going to lower it so that there's just enough clearance for the golf balls to pass through as well. So I think that should be just enough. There's a front of the tray which has the bracket at the front. The back of the tray does not have a bracket of course. So you see I've already loaded uh, the same uh, generic golf ball right in the center row. And that, that is important because you do not want the golf balls at the back because when I slide and lock the tray in here, as you see, it must be flush and locked in place. The product needs to be in front of the, 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 the sensors here. I can open up this panel and show you. <clears throat> there are sensors mounted on the left and right side. You see, when I cover that sensor, the LED light comes on because it's detecting, um, de de detecting my hand here. So whatever you auto height cannot be on the sensor behind that sensor or else it will not detect it of course so I've lowered the bed so far and placed the golf balls right before the sensors the tray is locked into place if you find you need to adjust the tray you can by loosening up the Phillips screw and then pushing it in and tightening it again on the right side bracket so what we're going to do is the auto height on the remote control push the auto height button let me actually feed the bed into the back position again. And then try that again. You want to be careful. You do not want anything physically hitting the printer. If it does, kill the power right away. But give it a chance to auto light. If you find that it does make physical contact, push the red button on the, room, on the front panel. Never walk away from the printer when you do this auto height. Also, the printer will not detect anything clear or transparent, like glass. So if you're trying to auto height anything clear, you want to maybe spray paint it black um, as a, and keep it as an auto height item. Uh, once you auto, you've auto heighted like, the, the product um, and it's done printing, if you want to print the same product, all you have to do is push the blue button to feed it back inside. You do not need to auto height again. You only auto height if you are printing a different size item. And that is the gist on how to auto the golf ball trick.